There have been four deaths in six months in the Milwaukee County lockup, among them a newborn baby delivered by an inmate. Now a Wisconsin lawmaker is asking the federal government to get involved. The I-team's Courtney Garris joins us with exclusive information on this latest development. Courtney. George and Carol, Congresswoman Gwen Moore recently sent this letter to the U.S. Department of Justice. In it, she calls the jail an unsafe environment for inmates. The Congresswoman tells me she wants answers for the family members of those who died. I became increasingly concerned uh, that there was no one minding the store, so to speak. So Wisconsin Congresswoman Gwen Moore reached out to the Justice Department, questioning Sheriff David Clark's oversight of the Milwaukee County Jail. In this letter, she asked for an independent investigation of the jail. And it wasn't just that people died in the prison, but the egregious nature of these deaths. Moore says she's concerned the county is failing its constitutional obligations to inmates. The letter mentions Terrell Thomas, the inmate found unresponsive in his cell back in April. The cause of death, dehydration. According to the medical examiner's report, the water in Thomas's cell was turned off because of what was deemed destructive behavior. The custody staff are the first responders. Yeah, so they have to identify if someone's in distress. Pete Konezny is litigation director for the Legal Aid Society of Milwaukee. He says Thomas was being kept in an isolated disciplinary area of the jail, something he questions since the inmate had symptoms of mental illness. And we're very concerned with, with those aspects of the program, the segregation and discipline use. In October, a court-ordered audit found a shortage of medical staff at the House of Corrections. Out of 128 positions, 47 are vacant, some of those in the mental health program, which the report calls challenged. It also mentions a shortage of officers at the jail. In the report, a national correctional medical expert wrote, it leaves open the question whether more careful monitoring of inmate Thomas might have altered the outcome. Over the last year, inmates have been on early lockdown, meaning the jail is not staffed from 6 p.m. until the morning. Officers just do checks every 30 minutes. That increases the opportunity for if somebody is in distress that nobody's going to be there to hear them. According to the report, leadership at the jail claims early lockdown will end starting in January. Konezny is hoping the October report leads to better communication between medical and custody staff. The family is asking a very unsettling question. Why is my loved one dead? Congresswoman Moore feels it's time for an independent review by the DOJ. People need answers, and I need an answer. Well, the sheriff will not comment specifically on the inmate deaths, but he did provide a statement about the letter to the DOJ saying Gwen Moore should focus on reducing the 21 trillion debt the country is facing, replacing Obamacare, reducing taxes, closing the border, and helping President Trump jumpstart the economy to provide jobs. Moore has not yet received a response from the DOJ. Okay, so do the number of vacancies mean the jail and the House of Corrections are are just short of staff, is that the whole? No, people are actually in those positions, but they are either working overtime or they're being pulled from other areas, which leads to concerns about experience and, and training levels. They wanna get those yeah. staffed. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. definitely some issues. Thank you very much, Thanks, Courtney. Courtney.